Hi, I'm Wendy from Cosplay for Us All. This is Jay, prop dad behind the camera. Say hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. Okay. Today we are making a short tutorial on how we dye our zero visors. We've gotten a lot of questions over the dyeing process, so today we're going to show you how we do it. Uh, I have four packs of eye dye, which is good for plastics. You can get these at Joann's. We have our thermometer which will help us get the water to the proper temperature because we're using the very thin PETG plastic. If you get it too hot, it gets all wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Got a spoon for stirring the dye. Very important gloves, which you can see I've used many times before. Tongs, because the water's going to be hot, you can grab the edge of the visor. And many pots of water boiling on the stove. This one I don't have a lid for, so I improvised. This is our purple dye pot, which is now permanently dyed. So this is the pot that's going to get all the dye packets in once it starts to boil. Over on the side here, we have our dyeing stations. We have our large bucket for putting the dye and the visors in. And then we have our rinse bucket, which is filled with cold water where we, we will be dipping the visors to help seal in the color in between. These lids will hopefully help keep the heat in since we no longer have a heater for our bucket. The cardboard underneath protects your floor. Dye is a very messy process, so you want to make sure you have adequate protections for anything you don't want to have dye on, which is why I'm wearing dark colors today. Our counter is protected with a plastic bag, since last time I didn't do that, and I got drippy dye on the counters. And we have our visors lined up. They, at the moment, have one layer of protective covering left on them from when we vacuum form them. Before you dry them, you want to make sure you remove the protective coating from both sides. Otherwise you will just be dying the protective coating. So that's where we're at at this point. I'm going to continue to peel these. We're going to wait for the water to boil and we'll be right back. So our water is madly boiling. We are going to add our dye. Really nice thing about the eye dye packs is they come in these little plastic bundles and you just go and the plastic dissolves. So no more messy dye all over the place. We like to use four packs of dye. I find it gives the best density of color. And then these are the little like booster packs or something that you add in. Ooh, it's changing colors. <laughs> now PETG is sensitive to heat and can be dyed up to 150 degrees before it starts to deform, but the recommended temperature is around 140. And we'll probably, obviously it's boiling, so it's what, 213, I think, oh, is boiling like point. That. Hot, so, it's very hot. <laughs> very, very hot. So we'll get it in there and then let it sit and let it Come cool down itself to the proper down. Yeah. yeah. It is very hard to get dye 100% black when doing the visors. Some of them come out a little more blue, but this is the best that we have been able to find that still gives the best visibility. And the nice part is when you're looking at it from the inside, you look like you're just looking through a pair of sunglasses, and it might look a little gray or blue, even a little purple, but when you look at it from the outside when it's on the helmet, 
it still looks black. So we put all the dye into our big dye pot. I also have two other pots of water that has boiled, which I'm going to add to the big bucket behind me once this has boiled for a couple of minutes. So we'll give that a couple of minutes and come back. Okay. So we have added a couple of pots of boiling water to our tub. Now we're going to add hot boiling dye. Woo! Hot and stinky. Over there. You can look into that. My other glove. Only I, I have two left hand gloves, so I have to wear one upside down. I'm in big extras. Take our thermometer. Um, place it in the water. It should be hotter than what we need. Yes. Hopefully. Hopefully. Or we can let it cool down. Oh, yeah. Better to start too hot and let it cool down than the other way around. Cool. One second. One second. Two. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna let that cool off a little bit. And when it gets down to around 145, probably, I'll dip the first visor. See you in a few. Welcome back. We have added all our water. Let it sit here. Let's see if we're at a good temperature. We should be safe there. I think we're good. We're under 150. We shall see. It starts like this. Here we go. Already. Mm -hmm. So it's grabbing it already. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take advantage of the hot water and put two in at once. It's going to take a little while. It is 6.15. We'll just let them soak for a little while and swish them around, make sure everything is getting covered. And we'll see you in a few. So it's been in for seven minutes. And that's how dark we are so far. Take it out. Put a rinse in the cold water. Helps set the color. Closes the pores and seals in the dye. And then back in. Same for the other one.
back in a few. It's been another eight minutes. Let's take a look, see, see how we're doing. It's getting much darker. Much darker. And this may not look extremely dark, but the thing is, once it's on a uh, on a helmet where there's no light source behind it, that's where it really shows that it's it's darker. The reason it looks kind of light is because you've got light source behind it and a light gray. Yeah, pieces. light back <laughs> light background things like that. So it's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah. Since it's been a little while, we're going to want to check the temperature. Yep. Make sure our water doesn't need a little heat boost. boost. Which we do have some on standby. And it may need some, we'll see. Because anything you put in there is going to pull the temperature down, including the visors. Especially after being dipped in cold mm -hmm. water. So, yeah, we're down to 135, which it'll work there at 136. It'll work there. I still have two more visors to do too, so I'll probably add a little more hot water to it just to bring it up a little bit. Alrighty, so we're back. And these guys have been soaking and rinsing and soaking and rinsing and soaking and rinsing on and off. Probably 45 minutes maybe, 45 or 50 minutes altogether. We've added hot water to keep the temperature up. And as you can see... They're nice and dark. <laughs> it's an alien invasion. And then the fun part comes. Cleaning it up. So after these have cooled down, We let them sit for a while, like overnight or so. And before they go out to their new homes, they get cleaned off with plastic cleaner, which is almost like a wax, which cleans off. You rub it on with a clean towel, you let it haze over, just like car polish, and then you buff it off with another clean cloth. And that gets rid of the extra dye and any stains. And in our case, in particular, the hard water marks, because we have very, very, very hard water here. But then they're nice and shiny. And ready to add to the zero invasion. So that's about it. If you have any questions, please feel free to either drop us a comment on the video or stop on over to our Facebook page, click the like button up top, click the get notifications button up top so you actually see what we post. Because Facebook's uh, dumb. Because Facebook's dumb. And uh, you can see us do all kinds of more fun, crazy stuff. If you have any questions, just drop us a line and we'll get back to you with whatever answers we might have. Thanks for watching. Bye. The eye dye pack. Very funny. Outtakes. Action. Okay. I know. <laughs> it's such an ass. What? What?